first one is three Colts Lane, uh, which was seemingly a simple bridge replacement scheme. Uh, network rail with the overall client. Principal contractors were Murphy's and we were working for Clark Demolition. Uh, you look at it and you think, yeah, that's not a very big bridge, fairly easy to, to take apart, doesn't really warrant a case study. Um, you'd be wrong. It was a very tricky bridge to take apart. And the reason being the constraints on the job. The first one being that the OLE was not going to be lowered. I think the reason for that being the time it adds on to the front and the back end of the possession and the associated costs with dropping the OLE um, meant that Murphy's decided not to. Uh, the OLE gantries themselves, you can see here in pink and in the picture previously, you can see you've got an OLE gantry either side of the bridge, very close to the ends of the main girders. Um, there were services at track level, which again weren't being diverted or being um, raised particularly, which made life a lot trickier. The adjacent bridge, so this bridge here, the, the um, three girders to the top of the screen there, wasn't being replaced, which limits the access from to just from from this side here uh, the capacity of the crane not quite such a constraint in the end because of the way we had to take it out um, and also it's quite a tight site in terms of access uh, you can see here it's not exactly the biggest roads to get large plant or large vehicles along which made life a bit trickier and there's just another picture to give you an idea of the OLE and what we were dealing with directly above the bridge when we were trying to lift out sections of this bridge. That's just a brock being lifted in to assist with removing some local bits of concrete and um, bitumen that was on top of the deck plates. So the bridge itself, fairly old wrought iron construction, uh, ballasted deck. Quite interesting the way it was detailed uh, with the, you've got the primary girders spanning from abutment to abutment, secondary girders spanning from beam to beam and it was a ballasted deck but it was interesting the way the deck plate was shaped like this across here up and down and that dropped down in between each cross girder so you can see there's ballasted deck and then over here above that primary or secondary girder there's not a great deal of cover between that and the sleepers themselves so it's fairly unusual construction uh, but it was life expired you could see there's a significant amount of corrosion on the structure throughout and it needed to be replaced. So there are a few options considered. The, the first one being, can we lift out one piece, obviously take the, the track off and then remove the ballast. It wasn't really feasible in this case because there was nowhere you could put it, even if you could pick it up. Uh, and then the OLE was in the way for actually getting over the CAG of the deck and then the capacity of the crane that was proposed would have been very, very tight. And then the services that were to remain in. So it wasn't really feasible on this occasion to, to lift the deck in one piece. That would have been nice. Uh, mechanical demo. Because the, the deck here is staying so on the right hand side, it meant you could only access from the left hand side with machines. And the, the way the bridge uh, or the, the structure of the bridge didn't really lend itself to working in from the left hand side. Plus, you'd have needed some quite significant machines and heavy shears to do the demolition, uh, which A, CDC don't run, and B, wouldn't really have fit in the site particularly well. So the first stage of the works was protecting the road. As you can see there, fairly standard navy mats placed underneath the bridge deck to protect from the plant tracking on it and any little bits and pieces that might fall to the road level. So then into the real meat of the problem was how do you lift this deck or how do you deconstruct this deck? And the way we decided to do it was to take it out in kind of three lifts, well, five if you include the two edge girders. First one being to drop the central section. And that was pretty much sized to be just about as big as we could make it and literally just drop it straight down inside uh, between the two abutments onto the, onto the road level where it could then be processed. Uh, you can see here we've modelled it all in 3D, including the, the lifting gear arrangement and the hook block. The, the size of the hook block was critical on this to understand the clearances we had to the OLE. And you can see there that there's not a great deal of clearance. 
and we we had to be fairly certain where the CAG was and making sure we could actually get the hook block in the right place, which is why the model the bridge was modeled in 3D to give us an idea of CAGs or a good stab at the CAGs of the structure. And then the principle was just we would drop, so you you'd burn the, the deck plate to separate from the structure remaining and you would uh, do drop cuts to allow as the as the bridge is lowered it provides more clearance and away you go down to ground level the edge girders were secured back to rmds which were bolted up to uh, the abutments and then braced back with scaffolding as you can see there and there you go you can see the hot works underway where the guys are burning out the deck plates and in, in on the left in fact no they're, they're burning through the um, principal or the secondary girders there and you can see the separation has been done along the deck plate already so it's slung at this point and you can see because the detail of the way the secondaries hung off the primaries we had to make sure that the guys didn't leave too much of a stub hanging off which would then try and overturn the edge girder hence why it will brace back you see one of the super slims there that supports the edge girder and there you go you can see an aerial view of it there once it had been dropped down and through onto the road level somewhere doesn't look quite as constrained when you see it there as opposed to the drawing but uh there you go but that's that's the first deck piece down being processed there's another one of it actually being lifted down in between the abutments uh, the second stage was then to take out this triangular section and again it was all determined to know where the CAG was and to make sure we could get the hook block over the section as you can see here um again doable but nothing particularly comfortable about any of it then that freed up the edge girder or the first edge girder which could then be lifted and lowered but again nothing simple about it because of the OLE gantries here and here you had to be planned out and thought about how they're actually going to get the edge girder down once they picked it up on where it's going to go so what a tricky tricky little job that then allowed us to get the uh the final corner section now we could do this as a couple of lifts which again was done because the OLE position if we'd taken that as one piece uh you would have ended up clashing with the OLE directly but we also gave the site team the option to use the machine to um grab it and lift it down i can't i couldn't actually tell you which they did on site but there was a few options on the drawing whether it's lifted or whether they used the machines to drop it down uh, and then perhaps the trickiest part of it was getting this final edge girder down you can see that the cag of the beam ends up pretty much bang on underneath the ole gantry um so we had an idea to use a saddle so i basically a lump of weight in this case about 1400 kilos which would be fixed onto the girder um, and that would pull the CAG position which would allow us to uh, lower the beam as we've indicated there and there you go you can see the last girder in the air and you can see the um, final trim of the abutments and removing the temporary works so quite a tricky little job to deliver that one but um, successfully delivered by CDC at Christmas. And then Murphy's had the job of putting the new bridge in, 